So today we're going to do a run through of uh, some of the goofy features of the Creature Creator. So uh, the way you start off with uh, interacting with stuff is you pick one of these sample creatures. So today we're going to start with the, uh, I guess the six like walker. Um, and first thing you do is you load it up from its sample. Uh, and it pops open the, uh, the web browser with the source code for the robot, which is here. And uh, when it's done loading and compiling your robot, it should show up on the screen. There we go. Alright, so I'm going to add a game controller to the mix so that we can walk this robot around. Alright, that, that's looking pretty good. Walk him around. Nice and goofy. And there you go. There's our, there's our first little piece of the robot. Now, uh, we're going to do some goofy stuff. We're going to show you how to add and remove, uh, add and remove legs and arms and appendages and all sorts of goofy stuff. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to add a tail. Let's make a, let's add a, a scorpion tail. So I just go ahead and click on add arm. Uh, I'm going to call this tail. Okay. We have a new device which shows up in the device manager and once it finishes rendering, boom! There's our new tail. Right in the middle of the robot. And so, as we walk around, our little tail travels with it, but you'll notice the keep away zone for the tail has destroyed our body. There's no body left anymore, so we need to do a little work to move that tail around. So let's go ahead and open up the configuration for the tail. And uh, first thing I want to do is flip it upright. Negative 90. There we go. Now it's sticking up in the air. That looks pretty good. Uh, it's going to need to come off the ground a bit. 28 millimeters, and oop, there it goes. Now it's now it's up off the ground. So that looks pretty cool so far. Uh, and I want to move it back so it's kind of sticking outside the body. I'm gonna drag the slide bar because I don't know how far back I really want that to go. Mm, that looks pretty good. Give that a second to re-render, and we should have our scorpion. All right, that looks kind of like a scorpion. Cool. And the tail moves with it. Now, let's say you wanted to control that tail directly. You can remove the game controller from the walking and add it to the arm. And now, when I move the game controller around, I can move just that tail. And wherever I end up leaving it, I can move it and add it back to the walking. And now we can walk around with the tail in its new position. Alright, so that's kind of cool. Now, let's see uh, what it looks like to remove something. So, I'm going to pick one of the legs, and I'm going to delete it. Bloop! Chug, 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 recalculate, and away goes that front leg. And, uh, it still knows how to walk. So, that's neat. Uh, let's see what it looks like to add a leg back in. Click on Add Leg. Leg, and it'll show up somewhere in the middle of the body. Cool. Somewhat less helpful because we have all these legs sticking on top of each other. But you can see, even though it's just in some ridiculous configuration, it did figure out how to walk with that new leg. So let's try to move that leg back to the position where the other one that I removed was. I'm going to move it in X out a little bit like that. I'm going to move it in Y. Oh, that's a little too far. That, that looks about right. And there. And chug, 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 recalculating. And uh, so there. Now, when you walk around, looks like a pretty good new leg. Now you'll notice that the body didn't regenerate, and that's because the leg that we added is outside of the order. So what we really want to do is actually stick the leg not back where the other one was, but we want to put it all the way back over here somewhere. We'll keep playing around with that slide bar. And all right, that's looking sort of interesting. Let's spin it around. I'm going to go around this way. That looks pretty 
good. And out a bit here. And maybe a little further back. So that we have it kind of just underneath the arm. Alright, that looks about right. Well, <laughs> we got the legs going inside of each other, and we can uh, spend some time working on calibrating what the boundaries are, but uh, just slapping a leg on there and it figuring out how to walk, that's pretty neat. So we got four legs on the one side and two on the other, and then uh, without really knowing what I'm doing here, it uh, figured out how to make that walk. We live in the future. <laughs>